Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint, and welcome to a game called Death's Life. In this game, the player is supposed to try to kill the people within the game and then make it look like an accident. And they do so by using a Rube Goldberg type machine where you cause a bunch of different events to cause one simple event to happen, which in this case is killing somebody. So let's go ahead and play here and see if we can- it's like a point and click type game. So let's see if we can go ahead and set things up in the appropriate way to make it so that we go ahead and kill some unsuspecting victim. So what if I just click play here? Oh, an, a new death's recruit. Welcome, I'm going to teach you the basics of death's flow. Oh, okay. Your goal is to cause the death of a character. For this, you must create a chain reaction rearranging the objects of the scene. So yeah, like the Rube Goldberg type thing. Did you guys ever have to make a Rube Goldberg in school? I had to do that for like some tech class or like... What was it called? Shop class? I think it's called shop class or it was called shop class when I was in school. And we had to like... I don't know, like tip a freaking domino over, but we had to do like 25 other things to make it lead up to that one event. Hover over the objects to identify what can be arranged and click on them to change their position. Oh, so you can click all sorts of stuff in here. This is a demo right now. I found it on itch.io and also my friend Riskrim had mentioned it a little while ago. Seriously, he like mentioned so many good games. <laughs> so I don't know if we just like click stuff or if we have to find everything or if we have a little bit of creativity in here. I'm not sure. Now identify which object initiates the reaction highlighted in blue. I'm not seeing any blue objects here, man. Think oh, oh, here it is. There it is. Finally, take your time and arrange the object as good as you can. When satisfied, click on the object that initiates the reaction and carefully observe what happens. Okay, so I need to kind of set this up in a way that I feel the board from the window would push everything around in a way that would kill the person when they walk in, right? Because of- yeah, that would make sense. So I kind of need to- need to think this through a little bit. So if I go ahead and maybe smush these together, have that sitting right there. Is this- um... Yeah, I'll have this sitting right here. Let's try that. Oh. I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, and now not all of these objects need to be touched either. I'm realizing that as I'm playing through this. So I need to like, think this through. So I need to keep this guy where it's at. I need to slide you over. I need to push you over. Um, maybe you squish the plates in like this so that this thing keeps rolling on to maybe- Okay, I think I'm getting it now. I think I'm getting it now. So, you see this little guy right here? This will start the reaction. So, I go ahead, pop this window open. This guy rolls down, rolls onto this bar. Goes pop, pop, pop down to here. Maybe rolls on top of the plates, pushes this over. Maybe I gotta put you there so you make a little bit more of a rustle and bustle. And then it's somehow gonna make this thing tip over this way. And then this- We'll kill the guy, maybe? Let's try it. Uh-huh. Yes. Shit! All right, now just to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about with the Rue Goldberg thing, I think I kind of have this first one set up. You have to like interact with a bunch of different objects and like s squish them a little bit this way, a little bit that way, and then it makes it so everything turns into a chain reaction where they all just kind of fall on top of each other. It's a lot like dominoes. Let's try this. Boom. Boom, 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 and then you'll go down here, hit the broom, and you'll hit that. Oh, is someone gonna slip in here and die now? Oh no! Oh god, I'm so nervous now. Oh, lame. He- Oh, wait, no. Oh! 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 <laughs> we got it! <laughs> this is supposed to be a horror game? I don't think it's that scary. It's just more interesting more than anything. We nailed it, guys! Eight out of eight objects. That's cool! Okay, yeah, now there's like a bunch of different levels in here. This is a demo right now. So let's go ahead and try to think through how some of these objects would smush into each other here. Alright, so this blue one right here is what starts it off, right? So let's just click that to see what it does. You drop into there, and that's all it does. Okay, so we- there's six objects we gotta work with here. Include- oh, so I can rotate these a couple of ways, can't I? Oh my gosh. Well, let's see which one actually, like, starts a reaction here. The red one? Ooh, red one does something. I don't know what it does, but it definitely does something. Okay, so it explodes, which causes you to go and do that. Okay. So maybe I can push you over then? And, like, the- Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to do the red one. The Rube Goldberg machines are really just a process of, like, refinement. Because you kind of get your basic idea, which is what this is already set up with, and you just need to, like, Keep adjusting and adjusting and adjusting until it works perfectly. Dominoes, I've said it a couple of times, dominoes are like the perfect example of that. So here we go. And then this is gonna explode. And then this will shoot out that way. But what's this gonna do? Okay. 
All right, all right. So that pushes down onto there. And then if you're gonna tip that, oh, oh, there's a couple of ways I can tip this. So this one's more complicated. The last one I can only move things back and forth. This one I have three options for things. So what heads on over this way? Anything? Yeah, I'll try to put that closer to the edge. So it'll go pop, pop, roll over here. What does this do? There we go. I don't know what this thing is, but it's probably gonna die. Let's try it. Crap! I forgot to change the red one again! Shit! Okay, so let's try this again. So, red, and then push you over, and then slide you and put you, keep you right there? Maybe? Let's try it. So, red. Then we're gonna make this explode over here, which is gonna push- Yes, boom, 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 boom. I'm feeding the bunny. I don't know if that's gonna kill somebody, but I'm totally feeding the bunny. I don't know. Maybe it's a rabbit bunny and it, like, eats people's faces. <laughs> He's like, oh god, my bunny, what's wrong with you? Oh, oh my god, my bunny, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I was bleeding on his ass. <laughs> what kind of vicious little rabbit are you? <laughs> that's amazing. This is fun. Like, I like going through all these different scenarios here. It's really like a, I mean, it's really a trial and error type thing, but it's definitely interesting. So, okay, what starts, the cone started. So I st hit the cones here, that pushes that that way, it pushes like the muffler system or the exhaust system. And there's eight objects in this one, so I gotta figure out how I wanna rotate things around here. So I would think I wanna rotate you this way, cause nothing really happens over here. And if that rotates you this way, that would push you into there, which would, yeah, let's push that over a little bit more. That way it doesn't just thunk onto it. Oh, no, I need to have you upward, that way you pop into there, right? So if you go clump onto here, that might- yeah, if I push this over, it might cause it to dip down a little bit more? Yep. What happens with the tires? Ooh, no, I kind of want to keep it right at this angle, that way it has a better chance to hit this, right? So yeah, ooh. I'll keep this right here. Uh -huh, uh, ooh, I don't know about this at all, though. Anything else I can touch in here? And there's a guy working underneath the truck. Let's try this! I don't know, let's try it. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, I think we were close. I definitely think we were close. Yeah, even seven of eight objects. All right, let's try to flip this again. Flip you. Keep you up. Push you over. Maybe it has something to do with this hook. Let's try that. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh. Oh, it's gotta be so close. All right, guys, I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's try it. Boom! Yes! He did! We did it! <laughs> this is so cool! He's dead, right? I was gonna say, yeah, he's not like gonna get up from that. That took a little while to load. <laughs> and that's the Death's Life demo. Okay. So yeah, this is a demo right now. They're trying to get- I think it might actually be greenlit on Steam. Either way, they're looking for support on Steam. And this is definitely pretty cool. It's definitely something that you don't see all the time. Especially with horror, where you're like trying to kill people with Rube Goldberg stuff. So I liked it a lot. If you guys want to play this, I'll have a link to the demo in the description of the video. It's on itch.io. It's like one of the top games on there right now. And go ahead and check it out. Play around with all the different stuff that I was playing around with in the background while I was trying to figure out this puzzle. See all the different ways it can work out. I'm really interested to see if they build this out and like make a bunch of different scenarios that you could do. Or maybe even levels that have two, like, two different victories. You know what I mean? It's not just only one way to do it. There's like multiple ways to do it. I don't know. Looks really cool though, so if you guys enjoyed Death's Life and you have any suggestions for like other games that you'd like to see me play that are kind of like, you know, unique like this and you don't see too often, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I love reading what you guys have to say. A lot of games that I play come from what you guys tell me, so go ahead and give me some suggestions. Go ahead and leave a like on this video if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yeah. Yeah. was living happily with his mother dark and moist place that was their home. Then, one pink night, a violent and unexpected earthquake ejected Poopy's mother from their nest, leaving <laughs> the little child alone and terrified. Oh my god. 